Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk to you guys about the difference between a co-host and an alternative host in Zoom. We're getting a lot of questions about this, so I figured it can be something that we take a look at and dive into. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between a co-host and an alternative host. So first, let's start with the co-host. A co-host is someone that the host has to designate and they can only create a co-host within a meeting. You cannot create a co-host before the meeting starts. So the host can assign someone in the meeting to be a co-host. You would have to have this feature enabled in your settings, which we will take a look at in a second. But a co-host is someone that can be assigned during a meeting. They then would have all the controls that a host would have, they can manage participants, they can share screens, they can do those types of things. That is a co-host. An alternative host is someone that the host would like to have the same type of um, management as the host, but they would want them to actually start the meeting for them. So a lot of districts are using alternative hosts if you're having a sub, and so an alternative host could start the meeting for a host. A co-host cannot start a meeting for a host. So an alternative host can start the meeting for a host. And then within that meeting, they would have the same type of rules and same type of privileges that the host would have. They can manage participants. They can share screens, um, enable and disable settings and whatnot. And this is also something that you would have to um, enable within your settings as well. So. Let's now go take a look at how we would enable a co-host and enable an alternative host in Zoom. Okay, so let's first take a look at enabling a co-host in our settings. So we are in Zoom, we are in settings. We're gonna go to in meeting basic. When I go to in meeting basic, I want to make sure that this option here, co-host, is marked on. So this would allow the host to add a co-host. Co-hosts have the same in-meeting controls as the host does. So I wanna make sure that this is enabled if I'm wanting to add co-host to my Zoom meeting. If I'm wanting to add an alternative host to my Zoom meeting, what I'm going to do is while I am creating the meeting, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to add an alternative host here. So this is something that is with a paid Zoom subscription and the person that you are wanting to add as an alternative host needs to be in your Zoom um, account management. So that way when you are typing in their email address, they will show up and then that person will get an email saying that you have added them as an alternative host and then they can start the, the meeting from the email that is sent to them. So an alternative host has the same controls and stuff that a host would. The only difference is, is that they can actually start the meeting for you, even though you are the host and you're the one that's creating the meeting. So that was just a quick comparison showing the differences between a co-host and an alternative host. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or you can reach out to me on Twitter. I will put my handle down here and I'd be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.